Hello guys and welcome to episode number two. If you're texting while walking, sending emails during meetings, or chatting on the phone while cooking dinner, so you're multitasking, or you think you are. But guess what? Chances are you're not doing yourself any favors by multitasking your way through the day. You know why? Because it's not nearly as efficient as we like to believe and can even be harmful to our health. In today's episode, we're gonna talk about 11 reasons why you should stop multitasking and rethink the way you work, socialize, and live your life. So get your cup of coffee and let's get into it. Reason number one, you're not really multitasking. What you call multitasking is actually task switching. Because when it comes to attention and productivity, our brain have a finite amount. It's like a pie chart and whatever we're working on is gonna take up the majority of that pie. There is not a lot left over for other things. With the exception, of course, of automatic behaviors like walking or showing gum. Moving back and forth between several tasks actually wastes productivity because your attention is expended on the act of switching gears. Plus, you never get fully in the zone for either activity. Reason number two, it's slowing you down. Contrary to popular belief, Multitasking doesn't save time, in fact. It will probably take you longer to finish two projects when you're jumping back and forth than it would to finish each one separately. The same is true even for behaviors as seemingly automatic as driving. What tends to save you the most time is to do things in batches. For example, pay your bills all at once. Then send your emails all at once. Each task requires a specific mindset. And once you get in a groove, you should stay there and finish. Reason number three, it's stressing you out. According to a research about the heart rates of employees with and without constant access to office email, it was found that those who received a steady streams of emails stayed in a perpetual high alert mode with higher heart rates. On the other hand, those without constant email access did less stressed because of it. And you know what? It's not only the physical act of multitasking that causes stress it's the consequences as well. Let's say if you do poorly on an exam because you studied while watching a football game on TV, that can certainly trigger a lot of stress, even self-esteem issues and depression. Reason number four, you're missing out on life. Forget seeing the forest for the trees or the glass half full. People who are busy doing two things at once don't even see obvious things right in front of them. For instance, a college in Washington had run a funny experience. And it was found that 75% of students who walked across the campus square while talking on their cell phones did not notice a clown riding a unicycle nearby. This is called inattentional blindness, meaning that even though the cell phone talkers were technically looking at their surroundings, none of it was actually recording in their brains. Reason number five, your memory may suffer. It makes sense that if you try to do two things at once, let's say read a book and watch TV, you're gonna miss important details of one or both. But even interrupting one task to suddenly focus on another can be enough to disrupt short-term memory. Reason number six, it's hurting your relationships. Let me give you an example where I think multitasking has a much bigger effect than most people realize. A couple is having a serious talk and the wife says, oh, let me check this notification. Then the husband gets mad and then he decides to check his phone and communication just shuts down. In addition, just having a cell phone nearby during personal conversations, even if neither of you are using it, can cause friction and trust issues. So please do your relationship a favor and pay your partner some exclusive attention for 10 minutes or so. It can really make a big difference. Reason number seven, it can make you overeat. Being distracted during mealtime can prevent your brain from fully processing what you've eaten. Because of that, you won't feel as full and may be tempted to keep eating and to eat again a short time later. And even people who eat alone should refrain from turning on the TV while eating and to truly pay attention to their food. It's really highly recommended to take a break from the screen to focus on each bite. Reason number eight, 
you're not actually good at it. You may think you're a master multitasker, but trust me, you're probably among the worst. According to a recent study, it was found that people who scored highest on multitasking tests do not frequently engage in simultaneous driving and cell phone use, probably because they can better focus on one thing at a time. Those who do talk and drive regularly, however, scored worse on the tests, even though most describe themselves as having above average multitasking skills. Reason number nine, it's decreasing your creativity. Multitasking requires a lot of what's known as working memory or temporary brain storage. And when working memory is all used up, it can take away from our ability to think creatively. Too much focus can actually harm performance on creative problem-solving tasks. With so much already going on in their heads, multitaskers often find it harder to daydream and generate spontaneous aha moments. Reason number 10. You can't only handle it once. To be more organized, it is highly recommended to follow the only handle it once rule. It basically means if you take something on, don't stop until you've finished it. The problem with multitasking though is that it makes only handle it once a near impossibility. Instead, you're handling it five or six times. If you're gonna stick to this principle, you need to be disciplined and plan out your day so that when a distraction arises or a brilliant idea occurs to you, you know that there will be time for it later. And reason number 11, it can be dangerous. Texting or talking on a cell phone, even with a hands-free device, is as dangerous as driving drunk. Yet, that doesn't stop many adults from doing it, even while they have their own children in the car. It's not just driving that puts you at risk for the consequences of multitasking. Even people who use mobile devices while walking are less likely to look before stepping into a crosswalk. And in one study, one in five teenagers who went to the emergency room after being hit by a car admitted they were using a smartphone at the time of the accident. So guys, this is it. Thank you so much for listening and please share your thoughts in the comment section below and see you next time.